Hello, everybody. This is Mohammed Mizan, and this is my uh, calculator project, project one for C CMP 167. And let's get started. Um, I added comments, so it'll be easy for you to understand. Um, and also easier for me to know what I wrote for my code, and it'd be easier for me to explain it. So let's get started. So import Java Util Scanner is the basic import we put when we have a scanner here. This is my scanner, scanner, calculate new scanner. This is what I named it. Um, this is the Boolean, Boolean variable to keep the calculator running until the user says to stop. So Boolean at x equals true. Boolean is a true or false statement. You could put false, but we're not gonna put that because it's gonna continue to calculate um, our code. So we go to the next one. The while loop that repeats until the user wants to stop. So while x from the boolean, we continue the running of system out print ln enter the calculator mode, um, standard or scientific. That's gave it our prompt. Um, that's sorry. Let me. There you go. It says it right here. Then we get a string of y, y scanner dot next. Then we go to step one. Then we put the if and else statement again. Sorry, we put the if a statement, uh, y equals ignore case standard. Then it will print out the prompt of the calculator will operate in standard mode. If, else if, in scientific, the prompt will be the calculator will operate in scientific mode. Else, if it's something else, you put in like, let's say, CMP167 CMP instead of scientific and standard, it would say invalid input. Now, we're going to start with standard for now. All right, now we can start step two, ask the user which operation they want to do, like plus, minus, sin, or cos, etc. Then we made another string, user input, um, quotation. While well, x, obviously we know the boolean, x equals true, we keep going with the calculations. If y equals ignore case standard, you enter the plus, minus, subtraction, addition, and division. So obviously we're gonna start, we're gonna start with the, uh, the plus. Now we go to the next one, else, else, if it was something else, like for the scientific, then the scientific, it will say, um, you put scientific here, the calculator operate in scientific mode, and this is when they say enter, it's going to say the same thing what we see here, but it's going to add more um, operation of sin for sin, cos for cos, and tan for tan. Uh, user input from the string from the top, to scanner, so we scan it on the bottom. Check if the operation is valid for standard or scientific. If user input equals plus or use it, user input minus or, e, sorry, times or divided, y ignore case scientific and the n will connect from the sin or cos or tan with the scientific. Um, yeah. Well, sorry, I, I just forgot what I was about to say. Yeah, um, this is an or or and. They're like expressions or integer expressions, I believe. I forgot what it's called, but like variable expressions. I might be wrong, but um, they help to break up each pieces so you can put um different variables for us. Like I put plus or minus or because if it wasn't if this wasn't here, it wouldn't work. And this for scientific. Um, else, if it was something else, invalid input. So, the user input, right? We put it in. So, we obviously put that. Um, oh, what else? Um, uh, just make sure. Step three, handle st uh, standard operation with any amount of numbers. Double result equals zero because you haven't got the number yet for the result. Um, we're able to store the calculation result. Check if the operation is standard mode with the calc uh, standard mode with multiple numbers. Um, if and else statements again. If user input equals plus or yeah, we went over this with the ors. Then the string operator name, user input obviously, right? Because we put plus. It, um, yeah. User input minus quick question mark subtract. User input equals plus question mark add 
Usually put equals question mark multiply and divide. We don't we don't need one for division because it's already there. Um uh, what was I say? Oh yeah. Um so we put that, right? We put we put plus when we enter, it's gonna say how many numbers you want to add. And this is where we get to the next prompt. It's gonna say how many numbers you want to add with the operation name from the string that's connected from this part of the code. And also part from this. But obviously that's where it came. Then int number of count, calculus scan scanner next. Um how many numbers you want to add. So when I put a number, it's gonna be this number of counts. So we're gonna put number three. We put number three, double number, new number, num count. Number three will go here. And this is what we get from the number after. Um, so, and this is gonna print out into the number count, this amount of numbers for the prompt here. And for, I'm gonna explain this a little bit better because it gets confusing. For int i equals zero, i less than, is less than number of count, i plus plus. This is, i is the index. Obviously, less than i equals zero declares the index. Y less than num count is a condition for the loop. I plus plus expression is called the approach increment. Well, it's called increments. So, obviously, then number three will go here. And we calculate uh, scanner. Next double goes here in the next one. So, three equals the result. So, this will be here. Number, the num is going to be uh, here. And I'll see the, the, the numbers we have on the top. So we enter the three numbers. So we're going to add 4, 35, 9. So 4, 3, and 5, 35, and 9. If user input equals plus, obviously that's what I did. You put that, you plus that, and you add the result. You get the result in the bottom. Let me just put that for now. Result, so the num i, right? Num i, you add the three numbers, you add them. You add them, it will be 4 plus 35 plus 9. If it was minus, it will be 35 minus 4. Well, 4 minus 35 minus 9. Same thing for multiply. 4 multiply 35, multiply 9. Divide, 4 divided by 35 and 9. And you get the results here, which comes right here, obviously. But we're going to, let me let me skip this a little. Right here, this is our new um, uh, prompt. Obviously, we got from here result right here and the result we got from the top when we added right here and um, now we're going to go back hmm, how do I let's, re let's restart it uh, let's do scientific since we're already in that section um, scientific enter um Hmm. Okay. I'll uh, see. We went go back from the top. I'll uh, see. So we put scientific from here, and it's gonna say the same prompt here since we add scientific from the else statement, and it's gonna say, do you want to add or multiply? I'll uh, see from here. Obviously, we added the uh, if statement for the scientific with the sin and cosine. So obviously, we're gonna go all the way down from here. So I'm gonna put sin. There you go. Now we got the number of sin. Um, uh, enter the number of radius to the sin. Okay, let me explain this. Another if and else statement. Uh, step forward, we handle scientific operation within one number. If and else statement. Obviously, y equals in our case scientific. And from the top, it basically everything from here is also copied from the top. So sin or cos or tan. This is our prompt. Enter a number of radians to find the user input, right? User input plus this. So the user input will be from these right here, from here. Then you double the number, calculate, scanner, right? Then user input, what we got from here. If user input is sin, that's what I put. Then the number I will put right here, let's say we put number, number uh, let's say seven. Let's just switch it up right now. So so seven, mat sin equals the result. Enter, and that's where we got the result. Because this is the result, that result is going to go here. And it's going to print out the prompt, result equals this result, and there you go. Now, I'm going to explain the do you want to start over uh, step. Um, 
Okay, this is our prompt. So it's our print ln. Do you want to start over? Y slash n string. We add another string. User response is calculate from the uh, scanner. Dot next. Obviously, remember x was our boolean. Boolean equals true. So true means continue calculating. So user response from the string ignore case y or user response ignore case little y. It will continue the calculations. If not, if you don't put any other, then you put n. It ends right here. And also we close our scanner with our scanner from the top from calculate. And that's all it. Thank you for watching.